Okay, by now we have split materials and services into these groups, but we are not supposed to base our source code on them, because a user can change or even delete them at any time. So we also added this attribute here. Now, when user is filling out the good receipt document, he can select any catalog item including service. And this actually doesn't make any sense because we don't buy services and we don't store them on our warehouses. So let's prevent users from doing this. Going to the designer, opening our goods receipt document and this is the attribute we want to be assigned with materials only. It has catalog graph type, so the platform assumes that the value is to be selected from the catalog. And here are some settings intended for tuning of this selection process. What we actually need is this choice parameters setting. Let's see how it works. This is a list of conditions that will be applied to the catalog items before they are shown to the user. Let's add a new condition. Select the field. What we need is a filter on material or service attribute. Now we need to specify a value. First of all we must select a value type. As you can see we can select a simple type like number or string or we can select a reference type. In our case it would be material or service enumeration. After that we need to specify the value itself. It would be material. Ok, let's see how it works. Goods receipt, opening the document, adding a new line in the tabular section, show all, and the services group is empty. So users cannot add service to goods receipt documents anymore. But what about source code? Let's check it out. Back to the designer. And now let's implement adding a new line with service in it. Add a comment. Name it add a service. Place it to the form. And you can see that the comment became a button. And now we need to subscribe for the event of pressing it. To add a new line into a tabular section we need to write something like that. New line, object, materials, add. Object here is a form attribute containing a copy of our goods receipt. So this is its tabular part and this comment just adds a new line into it. Now we need to fill the line with some data. We can address the material attribute just like this. But here we want to get an item from this catalog. We can do it only on the server side. So let's call a server function here. Add a service server. Add server. Here we want to return any service from the materials and services catalog and use this find by attribute function to do so. Attribute name will be material or service and attribute value will be enumerations material or service service. Ok, let's check if it works. Goods receipt, open any document, add a service some quantity, some price, post and close. And here we go, there is a service in our main warehouse. So now a user can add any material, but cannot add a service, because we filtered them out from the list. But if someone writes a code adding a service, this code will work. So we need to completely eliminate this possibility. Let's do it. Getting back to the designer, Opening the documents object module. And here is 
before writes event handler. Anytime any goods receipt is about to be written, this procedure will be run. So we can check here if there are any services in the tabular part. And if there are, we can abort the writing and notify a user that he cannot add services in this document. And this is a source code we can use. Here we just cycling through the tabular parts lines, checking if the current line is a service, sending a message to a user and telling the platform that it needs to interrupt this entire writing process. After we found the first service, we don't need to proceed with the cycle. So we just break the procedure execution. Okay, let's see how it works. Goods receipt, open the document, adding some services, post and close. And the platform says that the document wasn't posted. And after we press the OK button, we see the message down here. It says, please delete all services, so let's do it. Post and close again. And here we go. The document is successfully posted.